Okay, the next one is uh, the for loop. So for loop is used to iterate over the contents of a container. So the container can be anything that contains a collection of elements. For instance, string is a container that holds characters. Okay, then there are other containers as well. And we will see like how to use them list is a container okay and we are gonna go over those uh, I think list yeah list we already did so to iterate the contents over a list we can use a for loop okay so an example is given here so there are two versions given the while version and the for version so just notice the difference in these two let's, let's start with the while loop so what's happening here so you're defining a string called state name okay then you define a variable as zero then what are you saying while i this variable is less than length of this variable okay length of virginia while i is length uh, less than length of virginia is what three three six seven eight okay while i is less than eight is i less than eight yes it's zero so letter is this thing state name zero which is uppercase v right then you print that cursor comes to new line then what do you do you just increase i go back here i is one is less than eight yes it is do all that again print the letter in the next line increase i to two come back up here is this true yes so it executes this and so on okay same thing can be done in a for loop so if you see while loop has many lines or many variables that you need to change and check and so on which is i you need to check i change it and so on what does for do for says for letter in this variable do this one line right so in the for loop the element variables is assigned state name 0 1 2 3 and so on so this variable is state name 0 in the beginning then it's 1 2 3 4 so when it hits the end it automatically knows the for loop knows that it needs to get out of this block okay so the point being that in the for loop um, the element variable is assigned and checked using the in, in keyword you can do it over a range I'm sure you understand by now what's happening in the while loop, what's happening in in uh, for. So you can say for i in this range do this. What's the range? Range is from the starting variable till the ending variable excluding the last if you remember. The range is first to include, first to exclude. Right? So that was the range variable. So this will not print 10 because it while i is less than 10 so 9 is less than 10 yes 9 is printed when 10 becomes 10 there is no equal so 10 is not printed here same way here it will print 1 2 3 4 all of them in a separate line because 10 is the first to exclude it stops at 9 you can copy paste these run them and see uh, for yourself essentially so what's the syntax of a for? Syntax is for the looping variable in the container. Okay. Looping variable in container. So for and in are keywords. Your looping variable will be the one that you're checking. And then you're using that variable throughout your block or inside the for. And the container is whatever that container is, whether it's a string whether it's a range, whether it's a list, whether it's a dictionary and so on. Those things, dictionary we're gonna learn later, okay? 
So for i in range five, remember if you omit the first one, it starts from zero, right? So, and also remember you have to put the colon just like if and while after a four. So for i in this range, it will print zero, one, two, three, four on separate lines. This will print one first to include, first to exclude. So it will stop at four. This basically means the jump. So start with this, stop at this, excluding this first, right? First to include, first to exclude, and the jump. So print one, jump two, which is three, jump two, which is five, jump till nine, nine, nine and then if it jumps two, it becomes 11, so it 11 excluded, so it just stops at nine, okay? Then these slides basically tell you that you need to plan in the same way that you do for a while loop, do it hand tracing on paper and see what you need to include inside your for loop and what do you need as your testing condition, okay? or the iterating uh, condition that is, container that is. Examples, you should be able to understand these now. Similarly, this code, coding example, using a for loop should be understandable, okay? Programming tip for for loops is that make sure that your upper and lower bounds, even in while, and in for R, the ones that you want and you are not doing A, off by one kind of errors, okay? And that is essentially the for loop. 